Hello everyone and welcome! Now if you've been following my channel then you may know that I just recently purchased the 2014 Subaru STI, but this leaves me with somewhat of a dilemma as I still have this 1999 Acura Integra. Being that this was my first car, it would be fairly difficult to part with, so I thought, you know, why not use it as a learning tool for my channel? So I'm open to any and all suggestions as far as what to do with this vehicle, um, different ways to modify it, different things to do with it, uh, tear apart the engine, put it back together, anything and everything. I want to know your ideas and see what you guys would like to see done to this vehicle, and this is just going to become the project car of Engineering Explained. So if you're making a suggestion um, as far as a part or something to test out on this vehicle, you know, be as specific as you want. One of the beautiful things about Hondas um, and Acuras of this generation is that, you know, there's a, a massive aftermarket for these cars. So there's all kinds of stuff out there. Some of it's good. Some of it's incredibly useless. So, you know, we can test those things out. We can put them on here, see what the changes are, and, and just learn from it. So basically what my plan is uh, for this vehicle and for the different suggestions is that first, you know, get the part or whatever it may be and explain what it's supposed to do, what it's for, how it works. Uh, second, then install the part and show a video of the install itself. And then finally, third, test it out in some way. You know, if it's an engine part, then bring it to an engine dyno and see if it actually creates an improvement. Um, kind of like what I did with my uh, coilovers when I installed those, you know, I made some videos of swerving back and forth at the same speed to kind of see the body roll of the vehicle, how it handled before and after with the different coilovers. So, you know, I'd like to really have a how it works, how to install it, and does it actually give you any benefit for each item or idea that kind of comes along. So if you haven't yet already, you may want to check out my video that I posted on this car, but basically this is just going to show the before of before we do anything to this car um, at its current state, what it's like uh, before anything happens to it, and it'll probably never be seen like this again, so this is just going to be a quick little look at the car some different shots of the interior and exterior uh, just so we get a feel for it before any changes and then after any changes. So as of right now everything is nearly stock. Uh, the only thing being it has uh, Yanaka coilovers installed which I've got a video too if you'd like to check out but basically the car is stock with the exception of being on coilovers and lowered a little bit. Here we have the engine. This is the stock B18 B1. It's 1.8 liter, uh, which at some point in time made 140 horsepower. The strut bar is not stock. I have an install video on that if you're interested, but because it has these pivots, it's not exactly the most effective strut bar, so that may end up getting changed at some point as well. I do have a separate intake manifold, which I will be installing at some point. Here we have the stock exhaust. So we'll just go ahead and get an exhaust note with everything totally stock. Here we have just some basic interior shots. You can see those tweeter domes are missing um, from being stolen. I did replace the rear speakers uh, and then I installed the stock stereo since that was also taken uh, since my car was stolen. I also took apart and put back together my ignition lock cylinder so now that does actually function as it once did before it was stolen. One of the first things I'll obviously need to replace will be these front seats um, without these awesome octopus towels. You can see underneath that uh, pretty disgusting, torn apart, um, and it's actually a little bit wet from when it was stolen, so that's kind of gross as well. The rear seats, everything's still in, so uh, weight reduction video you can definitely expect. Um, basically trying to get as much weight as we can out of this vehicle. So before someone asks, and I know someone will, hey, why don't you just uh, build up your Subaru and modify that uh, instead of the Integra? Why would you modify the Integra, this super old, uh, not that fast car? 
and you know that's a valid point why wouldn't I but the thing is um, I'm not that experienced uh, I don't know exactly what I'm doing and I'm trying to learn here and so by messing with the Integra if something goes wrong you know what's the worst case oh my car sits around for a little bit until I can figure out how to fix it versus with the Subaru if I if I mess something up uh, and it's you know pretty bad damage and then the warranty is voided and then you know it just causes a huge pain um, and all kinds of expenses versus the Integra can sit there and, you know that's the benefit of having two cars this was kind of my plan all along having a second car I can just have it sit there um, I don't know about you guys but if I'm ever working on my car it never goes as quickly as I think it's going to go um, I'll have a plan of like hey I'll knock this out in an hour and four hours later I'm like man I wish I could get this bolt out so I mean that's just kind of the whole plan for me is you know have this car and if something goes wrong it can sit there and if it goes smoothly great and building it up from the very bottom you know a very basic simple car and just build it up from there and see what I can turn it into and I think that's kind of a cool goal and I can learn a ton along the way so that's kind of the plan uh, and why I'd like to do it on the Integra rather than uh, modify the Subaru and have a much more expensive project and I will say one thing you know I thought and a lot of people said to me as well, you know, you're going to get this Subaru, you're not going to want to mo modify the Integra, it's just going to feel so slow, so boring. Um, and, and I've driven this car today for the second time since owning my, my STI, and you know, it's still fun, it's still a fun car. So I don't think that in any way I'm, I'm never going to enjoy, you know, working on this. It's a super light car, it's lighter than the Subaru. Honestly, the transmission is smoother and it's got 125,000 miles on it. So it, it has its perks. Um, no, it's not nearly as fast. No, it's not nearly as capable, but it's a fun car. It's a cool car. It still runs great and, and it's fun to drive. So, I mean, I think it'll be a worthwhile project to work on, uh, working on this Integra, making it a quicker car. Now, if you work for a company that makes or sells parts that are compatible with my vehicle and you'd like to see some videos on it, hey, just send me a message. Let's work something out. Uh, and for everyone else watching, um, please leave your ideas and suggestions below. Uh, and thank you for watching.